Yeah, uh, first of all, I just want to congratulate uh, Coach Porter and his uh, his team. I thought uh, Oklahoma came in here and, and played very hard, and um, you know they're they're very difficult to guard. And I thought they executed well and uh, made the made some big plays down the stretch. And and they're a very good basketball team, and they're going to win a lot of games this year. And so uh, I want to start, first of all just say that uh, we have a lot of respect for them and how they played. And, and then second of all, just proud of our guys. We were obviously uh, shorthanded, but we, I thought we played hard for over 40 minutes and, and in, even in the overtime. And, and then we, some of our guys got a little fatigued because we didn't have the depth we normally do. But certainly uh, really proud of our guys' heart and how, how hard they wanted to win. And, and after the game, you could, boy, it was a very emotional locker room. And, and um, these guys love winning and hate losing. And, there's no doubt in my mind we're going to continue to get better, and it's uh, this is going to be a fun team to watch in another month. Well, speaking to that shorthandedness, I guess uh, how difficult was it to you know get sub rotations and just what, what were you trying to do in terms of keeping Kevin, if if you could at all, you know fresh? But it seemed like you played. Every yeah, we, we, it was uh, you know because we're really uh, shorthanded uh, at the four and the five spot. You know Kevin O'Danner had to play a lot of minutes and. And uh, didn't have one of his best nights uh, offensively, but played really hard defensively, and and uh, you know showed us a lot of leadership. And um, so, you know, the the three three point shot wasn't falling for us, two for eighteen, and I think that was the biggest difference in the game when they they shot uh, nine to twenty seven. So, uh, but you have um, you know one of your best three point shooters uh, out, and and uh, we certainly missed Pop tonight. But I thought the guys did a great job of trying to. Uh, you know, to uh, replace him the best way they could, along with uh, our inside player with, with Daniel Bacho. And then KJ Allen was also out. So he gave us a lot of uh, depth and experience uh, the last two games. And so we, we, needed, uh, we needed those guys out there. Can you speak to what Davion was able to do? I know he, he took the last game really hard, but it seemed like he bounced back like he was wanting to. Yeah, I mean, Davion came out, uh, you know, uh, Oklahoma's his alma mater. And so he was uh, a guy that uh, was, was really – hungry to play against uh, the Sooners and I thought he played extremely well much much better in the second half but played hard the whole game and uh, he had one of his best offensive nights so uh, thank goodness he had a, a great performance. You talked about this team being a, got a team of fighters I guess did you kind of see that today and just in terms of the knockout punch what did you feel that was tonight? Yeah I, I, again I, I thought we um, you know we uh, did a great job early in that first five six minutes got off to a nice lead and then the they caught back up, which good teams do, and then and then got ahead, and and then we we came back. At, you know, appreciate the crowd's involvement. I think they influenced us a lot and gave us some encouragement. So uh, we thank our great uh, fan support for keeping us in the game and helping us win it. And uh, you know, we we just didn't uh, come through at the end, missed some free throws and a couple of uh, you know tough shots late. Last one for me, I guess. What was uh, KJ's injury, or I guess what kept him out? Because I know he warmed up, and then I guess yeah, what's... He, he was trying to go. He, he's just he's got a uh, just a leg injury. It's it's minor, but it's going to take a while. And I don't know if he'll be ready for Iowa State, but um, not sure if, if any of those three will be ready for Iowa State. So we may be taking the same group to up to Ames, Iowa. But that's that's the case. We're ready to fight, and we'll go to war with those guys. And I know we'll play well. Coach, you lack in depth at the four and five. What did you think of Robert Jennings' performance tonight? Yeah, I thought Rob did really well. Again, he um, he got a little bit fatigued and then um, um, you know had some um, some leg spasms there and some cramps and and uh, couldn't play as much the second half. But I thought he fought and did really well. Made made a big three for us and and uh, we need we really need him second half, especially with you know since uh, Kevin O'Banner had to play uh, the whole game practically. On that last play, was it a broken play? What what did OU do there? To well, they they that? switched out on us. You know, looking uh, that again, we probably should. They they were just guarding the three point line. There was enough time on the clock. If we had to over again, we probably would have just drove in the ball and taken the two, and then and then got a foul, and then you know maybe with five seconds we could have gone for another shot. So, uh, but they did a really good job of of guarding the three point line. Uh, you just mentioned it right there, how they defended the three-point line tonight. Just throughout the entire game, what do you think that they were able to do to kind of close out from you guys beyond the arc? Well, you know, they've got a great game plan. We, uh, it just kind of went back and forth. But uh, when we were sticking to what we were supposed to do, then, then we, were, we were really good. And, you know, then with a the young team, it's a little frustrating because we forget our assignments. And, 
And, um, you know, this is not an easy defense to understand. And so, uh, but at times it was really, really good. And the, then you look at the, you know, the, they shot 41%. So, um, you know, it really wasn't our defense. It was it was the offensive end that, that uh, hurt us the most. So we've got to continue to improve on. And you mentioned it was obviously an emotional locker room after the game, kind of back-to-back -back games now with that same type of atmosphere. How do you keep these guys going after these two tough losses back to back? Well, you know, it's it's a marathon. You know, it's not a sprint. We've got a long, long ways to go, and uh, there have been a lot of situations where teams have started off uh, in this in the, in the same situation we are, and then have gone on and done great things. The most important thing we uh, stay positive, stay in the present, and keep and keep getting better, knowing that down the road and have some faith in each other, we're going to be really good. And I, I feel that way. Coach, you mentioned that on Tuesday those three key players might still be out. What are some things that you took from tonight's game going forward? Well, you know, in preparation for uh, each team, it's a little bit different. But the, the good thing is we, we, we got some, uh, you know, some playing time for uh, some of our freshmen, you know, a lot for Lamar, a lot more, and, in, and for Robert Jennings as well. And Elijah played, I think, eight or nine minutes. So, uh, you know, those are – uh, minutes that they, that those guys need to uh, to gain that experience. So that's probably something we can build on and move forward with. Right. Bill Woodall, you don't have anything, Judge? You just, you just okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you all so much. It's a tough one.